Hey, it's Laura. Welcome to my channel. Today I've got a super quick process video for you. I am scrap lifting myself. A couple weeks ago I shared a San Francisco layout that I made and I used 12 tags in that layout and I had all of those little gift tags running up the left hand side of my page. Well, today I'm gonna be doing the same thing except I am only using one photograph and I'm gonna have the tags running horizontally across my page. And they're going to create kind of like a long horizontal mat for my photo to sit on top of. So pretty cool. I have used up so many tags from my June Scrap My Stash Challenge Kit. I'm so excited. My San Francisco layout used 12 tags. This layout I think uses nine tags. So that's a lot of tags between just two of the layouts I made this month. And I love choosing these layouts that are really heavy in one type of product. So you can immediately see the results of using up a ton of one kind of thing from your stash after making just one scrapbook layout. So I've got some different scraps of paper from my June Scrap My Stash Challenge Kit here, and I am layering them behind my photograph and my tags to create more of a background because I don't wanna use all tags running across the page there. I need something a little bit taller than the height of the tags uh, to kind of tie everything in there. So you can see I've got some green and some mint papers down and some pink papers down across that horizontal run of the page. And I love that this is a great way to use up some of my paper scraps too. So this layout is really awesome at using up just all of the leftover things that I have. This layout came together so quick and easy. It already has a title on it. This is a paper from a Me and My Big Ideas paper pack. And that scripty right now is already written right there on the page. So all I do later is add a tiny bit of journaling about my sister, which this is a picture of her there. And in the little bit of journaling, it just says, you are the prettiest pregnant person because I took this photo of her the day after her baby shower. And she just, I don't know, she's one of those people that wore pregnancy like a boss. Like she was glowing, she was happy. Her whole pregnancy, she was just like a delight to be around. <laughs> So um, yeah, that was the little journaling I did there. And now I'm just adhering everything down. I use a tape runner on all of my paper scraps and I use some double-sided tape on some of my tags and then other tags I use some glue dots because that raises them up a tiny bit. And then you can see here for my photograph and some of the other tags, I actually put them up on this adhesive foam and that makes them stick pretty high up off the page there. So I've got a lot of different layers going on, a lot of dimension, and I managed to get it all done in less than 20 minutes on this layout, which is crazy for me because usually my scrapbooking layouts take an hour and a half or more to do. So this was crazy for me how quick it came together. Anyway, I am getting everything down onto my page and the embellishing I keep Super, super simple. After I get down my photograph and all of my tags, I just kind of mess around with some different flare buttons and some bows and some enamel dots and some brads. And I kind of play around and see what looks good where. And you'll see in the end that I keep it really simple. I don't add a whole lot of embellishing to this page. I know I add a couple of brads and if I could go back and redo this layout, I think I would not add these lime green brads that I ended up using there. I, I wanted to tie in green into the page some more like those purpley pink flowers in the bushes behind the photograph of my sister. I tied that in with the different pinks going across the page. And I know I had some green scrap papers too, some some mint ones and then some darker green ones, but I don't know. I guess I thought those flowery little brads would look good on the layout. And I think with the craft color background, it's a little too much for me. So if I could go back and do it, I would not punch the holes and put those in again, but that's okay. It's already done and 
I actually put this layout in my sister's album that I'm giving to her. So I don't have to worry about the fact that I don't like one thing on the page. And she gets to appreciate it because she doesn't do that much scrapbooking. So it's really cool to be able to give um, a really beautiful layout that might bother you a tiny bit to somebody else who is the feature of it. So I'm creating a pregnancy slash baby book for her that's got lots of pictures of my new baby niece and pictures from her pregnancy and hospital stay and everything. So this went in that album. And you can see here where I pulled out all of those bows and some chipboard pieces and I messed around with things that I thought might look good on the page. And all I really end up adding are some gold sequins and then some fussy cut flowers. And everything else is just really simple. I have one flare button on there, a tiny bit of journaling, two brads, a bow, and that's about it. So yeah, this was a super simple, easy page. And I cannot believe how quickly it came together and how pretty it is. I think it's super pretty. I love all the colors. So yeah, I hope this is inspiring you to get those tags out of your stash, use them up, get them on a layout. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel so you see all of the cool memory keeping stuff that I do. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.